The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. It is, it's recording. Hello, everyone. Hi. Uh, sorry. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the webinar tonight. Can somebody please uh, just type something in your questions box so we can know that you can hear and see us? Anybody? Oh, all good. Thanks, Thanks. guys. Excellent. Um, so for those of you who are new to our webinars, just a couple of little housekeeping things. Don't freak out about the fact that uh, you've been muted because obviously if everybody had access to audio, then uh, it would just be chaos. So everybody's muted. Um, and if we need to talk to someone, we can turn you off so that you can talk. So don't worry about that. If you have any questions at any time, um, don't hesitate to write in the questions box. And while one of us is talking, the other one will try to uh, answer the questions for you or at least bring them to the attention of the other one. So we're really glad to uh, be meeting with you again. Um, so we should probably get started. Is there anything you wanted to cover before we do? No, just it's, it's lovely that you can all come and, and meet with us, um, even if it's via a webinar. Um, we are excited to be able to cover some um, interesting things for you tonight. We're going to start a PowerPoint presentation now, which we'll, we'll use throughout, and then we'll go back on the get back on the camera um, at the end or towards the end when you, you've got questions. So, um, all right, well, I'll get I'll Mark to do the shout-outs now, if that's okay. So, if I go to here, oops. All right, can you see the PowerPoint presentation? Anybody? Just wait to see if, uh, yes, great. Oh, good. All right. So we'll get started with the um, uh, shout-outs. Let's make this, see if we can make this work. Okay. All right. So shout-outs for July, uh, some really outstanding uh, statistics for July. So R&D, that is an outstanding effort for your personal PRV. Um, sorry, you were going to say something. Else. Can I just say something about Irene D? She did over seven thousand PRV this month, and because she had over thirty-two parties, she is um, that's the only income she's got, and she cares for her mother. And so she went out and did thirty-two parties in the month, and that's why she has seven thousand over seven thousand um, PRV. And she told me that she just did the old-fashioned way, nothing online, just all parties. So really proud of her. All right, and so you can see from all the others, I don't need to read them all out. So if your name's up there, well done. And actually, I will read them out. Uh, Rachel Reeves. Now, the other thing about putting these names up on the screen too is that uh, you, you need to forgive me when I don't say them right, so I apologise up front. Cheryl Graw um, with almost three. Sorry, Rachel with over 4,000. Cheryl Graw with uh, almost 3,000. Chelsea Tanner, Renee Wiley, Megan Oliver, Christy McShane, Jessica Rogers, Angelique Passy, and Crystal Routon, uh, all with over 2,000 PRB for the month. That's outstanding. Well done. And in terms of recruiters, Rainbow Wade, that's an outstanding effort for July with nine uh, new recruits. Christy McShane, Crystal Routon, and Victoria Peasley, Marissa Satchers, and Katrina Kunkel, all with three each. And Dominic Foreman, Terry Holmes, Claire Bunting, and Tonya Zoldosh with uh, two recruits each for the month. So that's a really good effort. So well done there, teamies. Um, in terms of promotions, there were a whole lot of people that certified in July, which is just outstanding. It shows the strength of the teams. It shows the strength of uh, of the people uh, and their leaders. So uh, Alexis Gorbold, Gorbold, sorry, Alexis. Melissa Kiri, Natalie McGuinness, Crystal Wallace, Ray Hines, sorry if I got that wrong, uh, Grace King, Danielle, uh, can you just have a look and just see if anybody's doing any questions so they can be answered if we need to. Um, Grace King, Danielle Oxley, Nicole Elms, Alicia Swan, Linda Millwood, Kathleen Lomas, Karen McGilvray, Carly Stone, Debbie McLeod, 
Corinna Sadova, Joanne Wildermoth, Pagan Ranger, Natasha Boyd, and it keeps going. Jackie Reynolds, Cheryl Hooper, Coralie Haywood, Jessica Joyce, Kim Good, Nikita Davis, Margarison, sorry, uh, Benita Belsham, Heather Hagedean, Louise Romanis, Kelly Hewan, Alana Masterton, Masterson, Melissa Case, Nikki Butt, Sarah Gilly, Robin Stafford, Erin Normoyle, Rebecca Webb, Colleen Clavel, Clavel. And I think that, no, we're still going. Rachel Jones, Jenny Smith, Megan Oliver, Crystal Spateri, Cheryl Stevenson, Jenny Wall, Melissa Carey, Tamika Carling, Tegan Hill, Ingrid Young, Danielle Rollins, uh, Jeanette Suffield, Shannon Grice, Kerry Lamb, Patricia Cook, Nicole Caram, uh, Lauren Moore, and Elizabeth Sheriff. Oh, and some more. Raywin Smith. Terry and Christy, Kylie Meredith, Jessica Rogers, Pearl Ermler, and Joanne Vanderwarp. So that was a huge number of uh, consultants certifying, which is outstanding. Good work, ladies. Promoting to lead, Lena Barnard, Katie Skiberis, Letitia White, Candice Coots, Danielle Brown, Sally Hilsden, Jessica Martin, Sharon Wilson, and Stevie Jewson. Megan Gold, Talisha, sorry? This is lead, isn't it? It's still lead. Uh, Talisha McCall, Callie Loridus, Lauren Minor, Blaze Burling, Jessica Reeves, Terry Harford, and Tamara Heathfield. Promoting to star in July is Melissa Katanak, Renee Wiley, Brooke Yates, Matilda Heyman, Christy Maloney, Charmaine Weir, Weir Claire Bunting. Now, if I'm not and Dominique Foreman. I think a couple of these names are double promoted, so good job on that. Superstar consultants, Hayley Russell and Chelsea Tanner. Well done. That's outstanding. A couple of new directors in the group, Rose Nardella and Gemma Ely. So that's uh, a great effort as well. So well done there, ladies. And uh, some real exciting news is um, our second superstar director in the group, Tonya Zoldosh, so well done, Tonya. And well done to all of those who uh, have uh, featured in our shout-outs for July. Um, um, I just want to say that I'm really, really proud of all of you and all the hard work that you do with your businesses. Um, this shows how strong your teams are and, and how well you're progressing. So we're really, really proud of all of you for everything that you've done. And in particular, a, um, a special congratulations to, um, to Tonya for promoting to Superstar Director. That is such a, a great achievement. And so well done, Tonya. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do a little bit of, um, training at the moment um what i'm going to do what we're going to do tonight is that we're going to i'm going to cover a little bit on the code of conduct um and then we're going to go into um the the incentive period um requirements so and probably before we do that we'll do a bit of a draw oh, okay so at that point once glennis has finished talking about this before we do the incentive trip stuff um we'll do a draw for uh, a promise yeah. so that's only for those who are obviously online okay all right. Okay. Code of conduct. So, um, this the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I just feel like you know there's um, I've seen many times on social media and um, some of the things that um, that happen or that are being um, some some consultants are just you know because they're young and they're new consultants they might not have much experience in the the business world um, they're just not sure of how they should. Um, Act and so I thought that I'd cover a few principles um, to, um, of the code of conduct, which I think that we all need to keep in mind. Um, obviously, the first one is to have integrity. Um, the definition of integrity is being honest and having strong moral principles. Um, it's so important that we have integrity in all aspects of our business. Um, and the one thing I want to mention with this is that as consultants and when we do sell our products, we um, obviously payment is either cash or it is by credit card. 
And we, if somebody does pay us by credit card, we are entrusted with that personal information, which we need to hold sacred. Um, and once, what I normally do, and this is what I would advise you all to do, is that once you have processed the order and it has gone through the credit card, we need to to shred or or dispose of the the credit card details, because if somebody broke into your home and got hold of all of those. Um, details and started charging up all those accounts um, you just might be in trouble so I just think that that's a very smart thing to do so that has everything to do with integrity and that we just need to make sure that the you know the information that is given to us um, any personal information is protected and then we dispose of it as soon as we're finished with it I never hold on to any even if I've got repeat customers I don't hold on to their credit card details they just have to keep giving them back to me so I just thought that that was just something that is important and that we need to remember. And if you have any, if you have any questions on any of the stuff that I'm actually doing, so if you just want to just put it in there and I can answer as I go, so that's cool. Next slide. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Okay. The next one is to be trustworthy. The definition of being trustworthy is being relied upon, dependable, ethical, and honourable. Um, it's so important that we are some, that we are a person that can be trusted and counted on, and that that's really important when it comes to you know our um, our parties and our dealings with our customers and hosts. We need to be able to, they need to be able to depend on us um, for anything that they need. So I just thought that that was a good one as well, just to remember. Okay, oh, next one. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, this one is really important too. Be true to who you are. It is important. I mean, this one is when, when we need to keep our word. If we're going to say we're going to do something, we need to do it. We can't prom make promises and not keep them because then people just won't trust us. So it is really important that we keep our word. Um, so that is just really an essential thing in business. Um, if, if you want to have repeat customers, you need to follow up with the things that you say that you're going to do. I suppose that's part of good customer service. Yeah, too. it is. And so, I mean, a lot of this you may you obviously know, um, but it doesn't it doesn't hurt to be reminded. So, um, and that's the purpose of doing this. Okay. The next one is to be respectful. Now, this is the one that I really wanted to talk about a little bit because it says we all need to be respectful to everyone we meet, our customers, our hosts, and our colleagues. And our colleagues in particular, because oftentimes, um, you know. <laughs> It's, I, when I at Fast and Fabulous, I gave um, a presentation and it was talking about communication with our team. And in there, I referred to our teams or our groups um, as, as like, uh, to refer it to like a box of crayons. You know, in in our teams and our groups, there's so many different people. You know, we're all different. We, you know, um, we're short. We're tall, we're big, I'm small, we're fat, we're whatever, you know. Um, that's, that's not a nice thing to say about me. Uh, you know, um, what I'm trying to say, though, is that we need to be respectful of the people that we work with. Um, well, well, mainly well, our customers we need to be um, and our hosts, and it's easier sometimes to be respectful to our customers and hosts than it is to our colleagues. Um, oftentimes, you know, this, our business is not, it's not a competition. You know, we do we conduct our businesses how we want to conduct them, and so there's no competition with another consultant. So you know, we need to be respectful to each other and to show kindness. Um, I've seen a lot on social media where you know the, some of the consultants have been, I use the word attacked, but verbally, you know, maybe abused in some respect, and and that's just not a good thing. You know, we need to show love and kindness to the people that um, that are around us. So, and to be accepting, I think acceptance is a is another thing. We need to be acceptance of each other and of our differences. When we can't all think alike, and we're not all alike, and we're all going to do our businesses different from each other. So, I just thought that and that's that, okay too, because diversity is is a great thing. It is, and I just think that that it was really important to mention that. Um, I've seen a lot of it on social media, and so I really felt that uh, there was a need to say something. Um, it is important that we are, that we are a positive influence to those around us. If there's and and also the, another big thing is if there's any issues between two consultants or um, a director or anybody, it needs to be discussed in a private situation, not on social media. Um, and that's something that has been happening. And so, if you have an issue with another consultant, you know just 
just send them a message or give them a ring, you know, or do something like that. And if and if you can't, if there is a dispute between somebody, we are always happy to be the media person. So you can always come to us if there's an issue and you need it to help in sorting it out. Um, so that's just something that's really important. Okay, next one. Hang on, I've just got a message. Let me just, I'm oh, sorry. What's the message? Oh, you keep going. Oh. Okay, the next one is to be prepared. Make sure um, make sure we are on time for our appointments and um, allow plenty of time to set up so that we're not rushed. So, um, and and this it, this also includes like making sure we're ready for our parties. Like you know, make sure our kits are all together, any gifts that we're going to give out, and most importantly, we need to make sure that we've got the knowledge of the products we're going to be showing them. There's nothing more embarrassing than to do a party and somebody asks a question and we haven't done our homework and we haven't got the answer to it. So it doesn't mean to the new consultants that you know have, have to know everything um, initially, but those of us that have been doing it for quite a while, we should we should know um, our products and, and we should be able to answer the questions that they are our customers and our hosts ask us. So that's just something in, that we can do. And, and another thing too is it's it might pay um, it to the new ones to be able to, you know, maybe on a regular basis just start starting up on some of the products, you know, the ones that you feel comfortable with um, in showing and just do some a little bit at a time. You know, eventually you'll get to learn everything about each of the products. And, of course, with our new catalogue, we are going to be getting the diffusers and the oils, and so there's a lot more things to learn about them as well. So, um, you know, if you have any questions or you don't understand anything, certainly give us a, um, a call or a message and we'll try and help you through them. Okay. Just a quick question. Um, are you able to still see the PowerPoint on the screen, somebody? Somebody suggested that perhaps you can't. You're looking at us, and not looking at the PowerPoint. Can can, um, can somebody just? Yes. Okay. So you can see the PowerPoint. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for that, Jessica. Okay. And just in summary, to be we all need to be professional. To be professional, it, it includes everything about our business. You know, we need to in in all aspects. You know, our dress. It doesn't mean that we have to wear fancy dresses. It just means that we have to look smart. We just need to dress smartly. We need to be careful of our language and how we um, talk to people um, because I always, I always think about the scenario of first impressions. You know, if somebody meets us for the first time and we're not, you know, we're using language that's really not appropriate, you know, that we're going to be judged by that. So that's just something, you know, and, and the same with our dress. You know, look, you can, you can be smartly dressed and without looking, you know, like inappropriate for someone that's a professional. Um, we also need to be careful how we treat others and how we operate our businesses and make sure that we're honest at all times. Honesty is the best policy and um, if you're honest, you can't get into trouble. So, but anyhow, look, I mean, um, I think that's the last slide, is it? That one, yeah. Yeah, so I just hope that just a few things that I've actually brought out, um, you know, it just, I mean, they're things that you already know or most of you should know. So it's just like a friendly reminder of some of the things that we need to be careful of and that we need to be aware of with our businesses. Um, you know, I'm sure there's so much more that I could have discussed, but I didn't want to spend the whole time on that. So I just picked out the most important things that I thought was relevant um, to us as consultants. So the next thing. Now, before we talk about oh, that, okay. let me just turn the PowerPoint off and, oops, turn the camera back on. Okay. So what we wanted to do now is we wanted to do a, a little draw. And on this piece of paper right here in front of me, can you see that? Can, are you looking at us? Anybody? Yes? Yes, Excellent. yes, yes, good. Okay. So on this piece of paper, I've written a number, and hopefully you can't see it through the paper. So what I want you to do, a number between 1 and, let's see, between 1 and 50, just type it into your questions, and whoever gets the right number uh, is going to, well, what is that, Glynis? The prize is going to be um, a, um, a stack of the new catalogues. We'll okay. send out to you whoever chooses the right answer. So the first person to get the right answer, oh, nobody, the right answer. nobody yet. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, there we go. Let me show you the piece of paper. 
Nicole. 23. Nicole. Nicole. Write a check. So we need to write that down because we need to send you um, one of a, a pack of, of the new catalogs. Okay, so that will help you with your business, we hope. So, so Nicole, we'll go onto our workstation and we'll get your uh, details and we'll contact you. And um, we'll organise and get that. So we're going to try and do something nice like that every time we do a webinar so that we can actually give out different things and um, and just as a reward for for participating in the webinar. We really appreciate it. And it has to be the people that are actually logged on. So. Yeah. Well, otherwise the ones that aren't logged on won't be able to give us the numbers. Yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. Okay, so we'll head back to – let me turn the camera off. We'll head back to the PowerPoint. Uh, just very quickly, can you see the PowerPoint now? Just want to make sure we've... Yes, great. Thank you, okay. Angela. Okay, where to next? Does anybody have any idea where we might be going? We can't find out for until um, Sydney, it's but... Not long. There's only a few weeks now before we know. Yeah, so I'd be interested to find out what your thoughts are, what your guesses are. But anyway. anyhow, in the meantime, so I wanted to go over the qualifi qualification periods. Um, okay, the qualification period obviously is from the 1st of August 2015 to the 31st of January 2016. Um, who is eligible, I forgot to mention, is consultants from Australia and New Zealand, okay, in Region 3. So the other regions are not included in this. Okay, so credits. In, if, you, if you want to earn the trip for one, it's 21,000 credits and trip for two is 42,000. Now, that is actually quite a lot, and I know when we first saw all that, we all freaked out and thought, wow, I'm never going to make that. But um, we've come up with some scenarios, but I'm just going to go through basically some of the things um, first, and then I'll get Mark to go through. He's done up a few scenarios of each different level that he will discuss with you um, when I finish doing this. Okay. Monthly sales. For every point you earn in PRV, you will also learn, earn one credit towards your incentive trip. So what that means, ladies, is that we have to do heaps and heaps of sales because with the sales, 90% of your credits can come from your PRV. So, you know, if you don't think you're going to have a lot of personal promotions, you can go out and do heaps of selling. So anyhow, okay, so one point equals one credit. Um, okay, now for sponsoring. Sponsoring, consultants. I can't read that actually. Can you move that? Sure. Thanks. Consultants must be personally sponsored by you. And um, it, okay, so each now last year each recruit got a thousand points. This year, it's um, each new recruit is one hundred points. Any new or existing recruit who certifies, he gets five hundred points. And each new recruit who remains current gets four hundred points. And clearly, that's designed for retention rather than just recruiting people just to get the trip. Yeah. This time, you're still getting the thousand points, but they need to certify and remain active until the end of January, which means they'll look and this is a this is a good thing That's we have to remember because yes, it's, it's purposely done this way to bring strength and growth to your teams. Um, yeah, I think it's great and, and it is I think it is mainly designed for just that. And I think it's a win win situation because if we don't if for those that don't make the trip you, at least you've you've grown your business, and so you know you've you've won well, anyhow. Least, that's right, yeah. yeah, you've won anyhow. Okay, personal promotions. If you promote to certified consultant, it's a thousand points. Um, if it's to lead consultant, fifteen hundred. To star consultant, two thousand. To superstar consultant, three thousand. To director, five thousand. Star director, eight thousand. And superstar, ten thousand. Yeah, uh, sorry, Tom. Tony, that means you'd like out now because you've got no more promotions left. <laughs> You'll have to do lots of selling, girl, So and recruiting. So there you go. Um, okay. Now, personal achievements. So once um, again, before you even start, this once again, this is about building strength in new recruits, which in turn builds strength in your teams and will build your business in the long run. Yeah. Now, with personal achievements, um, like so, so for example, you know, if you, you only get 100 if you recruit somebody, but if you help them get the Shooting Star Award, then that's 3,500 points. And then if they get Sensational Star 1, another 4,000, and 2 is 4,500 and 3 is 5,000 points. Um, and also, you also get paid per month. So it's, the incentive period is for six months. So if you are certified for those six months, you get 50, 50 points per month, which is um, – 3,000, is that 3,000 or 3,000, yeah, it'd be 3,000, wouldn't it? Oh. 
Oh, sorry, I was, just, I was just sending a message to somebody. What was that? Okay. So, um, so if you get paid, um, if, if for six months you're certified, you get 50 points per month. If, if you are lead, it's 100, star 150, superstar 200, director 300, star director 500, and superstar director 750. So, so you need to look at what, where you're at. So if for some reason you are certified for maybe two months and then you actually go up to lead or star, you will get for whatever months you are, that's what you'll get paid um, as far as points go with that so All right. and I, there was only and they've got an event attendance and, and and this might not apply for a lot of you because it's superstar director summit which i wouldn't even go on at the moment and boot camp leadership now those that are going to leadership um in sydney will probably will be will get a thousand points for that so um so that's something as well to, to look at Okay, so now I'm going to pass the time over to Mark and he's going to go through and he's going to talk to you about the different levels and how what we've come up with what you could do. I mean, there's been a lot floating around um, on some of the pages of different scenarios, but we'll just discuss what we've come up with and then you can... Yeah, yeah Glennis is right. There's been a lot floating around anyway, so if you've already got them, that's, that's totally fine. Uh, feel free to uh, screen snap the screens that I put up. These are just... <laughs> um, these are just examples, uh, so this isn't the be-all and end-all of everything, but you'll see on the left-hand side for a new recruit, um, if they get their shooting star, uh, if you don't know what that is, then please talk to your sponsor or your director or have a look in the consultant's guide. Um, uh, there's, they get 3500 If they achieve just this, the uh, sensational start level one, it's another 4000 Um I guess one of the things Glennis has spoken about a fair bit over the time with Ben and Sensi is, is the power of 500. And in other words, working to get 500 PRV each month because once you've certified and you get into the leadership realms of Sensi, you need to have 500 PRV every month to uh, be paid on your downline. So focusing on that is something that's really important and doing that every month will get you 3,000, will get that new recruit 3,000 points. Yeah, I was just going to say that one of the things that I've done in training meetings in the past is that, you know, if you can remember two simple rules, one is to make sure that you maintain, if you have a team, it's in really important that you maintain your 500 PRB. Well, do your month. best to. That is $700, that's like two parties. And also to try and sponsor one recruit minimum, or if you can, if you can do 500 PRV each month and sponsor one person each month, your your team will con will continue to grow. True, but that's another subject, my dear. Let's okay. just focus back on the re incentive trip. So, um, sponsoring two recruits each month uh, gets you 1,200 points over the six months. Uh, and if all of those recruits certify, there's another 6,000. Uh, if all of those recruits are current at 31st of January, that's 4,800. And then if you do that, it's absolutely statistically guaranteed almost that you'll promote to lead consultant if you have all of that happening as a, as a new recruit. Now, I appreciate that some of those um, might sound a bit difficult, but like I said, this is just an example. You can, because uh, I haven't, I mean, you could do more than 500 PRV in a month, uh, which would negate the need to have, let's say, two recruits. Maybe you only have one recruit this month. So... Everything can be changed in there to uh, adjust for the needs uh, of your business and how you run your business. On the right-hand side of the screen, if we move that across, thank you, uh, essential and certified consultants. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to go through it all. You can see it on your screen. If you take a screen dump, you'll be able to, um, or a picture of your screen, you'll be able to keep it as a, an example. But there are plenty of them going around on social media at the moment. Uh, I think one of the important things for uh, anybody who's currently in Sensi already, is that when you're recruiting, because this is an opportune time to recruit in August with uh, all the incentives around uh, recruiting, really super, super important that you talk to your new recruits about the uh, shooting star and sensational start um, straight up. Uh, and, in fact, you know, I find that Glennis quite often works in advance with people and it takes a fair bit of time. It's not making a decision today and sign up five seconds later. It takes a bit of time. So in the lead up to that, um, encourage them to uh, plan their launch party, knowing that they're going to sign up at some point, 
uh, and perhaps talk to their family and ask them to, to help them get their business started by having a party so that when they sign up, those things are already in place. Uh, that almost guarantees them the shooting star or at least one or two parties plus their launch, whatever. You know, that's, that's a significant effort to achieve their shooting star and straight away they're 3,500 points ahead of the game. So but I, I can't stress that enough to, to do that. The other thing is that achieving their shooting star and a level of sensational start is uh, a really good way to help them bed their business in and achieve results and to stay active at the end of January, which you want them to be, so that you then get some benefit out of them as well in terms of the points for the intended trip. Yeah. So let me just move on. Yep. Uh, here's an example for lead consultants and star consultants. Um, um, if you've got any questions as we're going along, please feel free to ask because we're going to have a question period. Um, and so last time we didn't really get too many questions. So think of some questions that you want to ask us to do with this or anything else and we'll, we'll discuss them at the end. So once again, this is the, the same sort of basic thing, looking at the 500 PIV each month as, as a minimum, if you can, um, because that's what you need as a leader to get the leadership bonuses uh, each payday since your payday. So uh, that's a good goal to try and get and maintain if you can. Uh, of course, the, spons the sponsoring of recruits each month uh, and helping them to certify, excuse me, so you as a leader helping them to achieve their goals will help you then to achieve yours. Uh, those recruits remaining active, um, you know, there's a good chance that if you're already a lead consultant and you've over that period recruited um, two recruits a month, being promoted to star or superstar or even director is not unrealistic uh, if all of those people are working and doing those things under your leadership. One of the other things I haven't included in any of these examples you'll notice is the benefit that you can earn and what's it called to here, paid at title benefits, because I just couldn't estimate what that would be. Um, so bearing in mind that those will still be there as well. So even if you might you might drop a recruit this month or pick one up next month or you don't quite meet your 500 PRV in your goals, um, well, that's probably a bad example, but uh, you still have the benefit of the paid at title uh, achievements as well. Uh, I don't think I need to cover anything there. That's all the same. So if you can flick over to the next slide. Sorry, if you... Turn the mouse around the right way. There we go. Um, once, and I guess those who have been around for a while will recognise that as you uh, increase in title and rank, the harder it is to achieve um, these, uh, the incentive trip, I guess, by earning these points um, because the personal promotions become limited. So the more promotions you've already had before they started, the less there is afterwards. And so that makes it a bit more difficult. You need to work harder with more recruits, more PRV to achieve it. Um, yeah, those that are directors and above are just going to have to do a lot more selling because 90%... And recruiting. Yeah, um, well, and recruiting, but 90% uh, of your points can be sales. So, you know, obviously if you combine the two, recruiting and, and try to do a lot more, I mean, do your 2,000 PRV a month, you get 30% um, commission. So that's a good way of actually, you know, um, increasing your points as well. So you might need to focus on that a little bit more as well. Yeah, um, perhaps what we, we can do, because Irene's a really good uh, consistent seller, we might have to get Irene on one of our, maybe on our next, um, webinar to help people address that because that, that's a good way of, for people to be earning points is through their sales. Okay, uh, no questions yet, so that's good. Okay, so what I've got here is some of the things that we can do. So um, as I said, I just covered on sales and yes, Irene, I had a great chat with her to find out just how she got the 7,000 PRV and she, you know, her, her thing to me was, you know, I've just done the old fashioned way, you know, um, you know, good host coaching, good customer service. Um, giving more than you take, and um, she's a, a, a perfect example of of hard work. And and she's not a young girl either. She's 
probably somebody my age or just un, just a bit younger maybe. Oh, be careful. And, be careful. And um, she's, yeah, so she just works hard. And so, you know, there's a difference, you know, the difference of, um, you know, having a lot of PRV and just an average PRV total can, you know, can just depend on how hard you work. But And so what I've got here is to be creative with your parties. You know, do theme parties. I mean, I suppose especially starting with the the new catalogue, you're going to have a lot of new products to, to show, so that will be good, you know, to start with. But after a while when people start or seeing the products, you need to be creative. I love theme parties and I try to do theme parties and maybe maybe one month I'll actually do a webinar on theme parties because I've got great ideas with that. And I certainly, you know, I don't mind if anybody else wants to pass some more, uh, you know, their ideas on to me as well. Um, but anyhow, so that's something that's important. Have good product knowledge. It's really, I can't stress this enough that you need to, to be studying and learning all about your product so that, because the more you know about your product, the easier it is going to, to be able to sell it and to be able to answer any question that comes your way. And if customers... If they trust you and they um, are confident um, in you with with your knowledge, then they'll stay with you as a as a customer because they'll um, they'll just trust what you know and um, feel comfortable with that. Um, this leads to good give give good customer service as well. That is really crucial. You need to do follow ups and I mean I you know I for one in the past I mean I know I've lost a customer here or there because I failed to follow up. Um, and my attitude, even when I was in real estate, is if I ever lose a customer, it's my own fault because I didn't, I didn't follow up with them. So if you take that on as um, personally, it's, it helps you to, to, to stay on your toes with customer service. Host coaching is really important. Um, if you know, if, if you want to get high sales, um, you need to coach your, um, your host. Find out what she wants, you know, sit down with her and, and find out, you know, maybe, you know, to get her to do a wish list and that will also help to generate because if there's something that she really, really wants and she knows that she's going to have to get X amount of sales, it might just push her to do that bit extra. So um, being professional is something obviously that we all know. But most of all, have some fun. I just love, I love doing home parties more than any other parties like basket parties, book parties and that because... Um, I'm in a social situation and, and it's just lots of fun. You know, I get paid, to, you hear the saying, you know, you get paid to party. Um, it's lovely just to be able to be in a social situation um, and to be able to, you know, have some fun and laugh and, and enjoy the products at the same time. So there's some just some um, just some ideas and some advice to do with how you can get some more sales. Um, recruits. This is really important too. I just now recruits. It's really important to get to know your customers because a lot of your customers will turn into your recruits and to especially your hosts. Like when I do a party, I always um, I'll socialize and I'll do my presentation and then afterwards I'll socialize with them after I've done my presentation and then I'll say to them look you know when you're ready to order just let me know and um, I'll help you then I take them aside and that's when I talk to them about hosting a party or or um, offering the, the business side to them you know like offering asking if they were interested in becoming a consultant and by doing that it's not confrontational with in front of everybody else and I find that I have had more of a positive response doing it that way. So that's just an idea. That's something that I do. I know we're all different and you probably do your parties differently than I do. Um, but that's just something that I wanted to share. Be engaging at your parties. I remember do doing a party once and after I'd done my presentation, I just sat around and socialised with the ladies and they said to me, I can't believe that you can just sit here and socialise with us. You know, not, not many people do that. And I thought, you know, to me it was just a natural thing to do. So just be engaging with your parties and I'm sure most of you are anyhow. But for those that are not and find it really hard, I think the more that you socialise with your guests or the guests at the party, um, the more chance you've got of um, gaining their confidence and trust and maybe even leading to booking a party or joining your team. Share the sense of love with everyone. Um, I don't know if I've, I probably have shared this before, but 
you know, last year I actually um, dropped off a, a catalogue or gave a catalogue to a lady at, at a Bunnings store because she was so helpful. And two days later she called up and asked me if she could book a party. And she booked a party and, and it was a $1,400 party. And I've had two two party bookings from that, and and this next week she's doing another one. She has a party for me every every catalogue now, and that's another thing that you can do as well. You know, to increase your parties is, you know, find the hosts that love partying and that don't want to become a consultant maybe, but that would just love to have a party with you every new new catalogue that comes out because then automatically when the new catalogue comes out, you've got half a dozen parties to start with before you even have to look for anybody else. So. You know, they're just things, it's just being strategic and looking at, you know, how you can fill your diaries up with the parties um, as the catalogues come out. Um, and most importantly, the best thing is, is to share your story. Share your story in, in a brief way at a party, um, but with people that are interested, just share your story and, and tell them how Sensi has changed your life and how how, thing, how it is, has um, affected you and your family. I actually posted something last week with just a picture of Mark and I, and even though I look like a midget. Um, anyhow, I, I posted it on my my Facebook page, and yesterday I got a message from a girl who called me today and said she's going to sign up um, because I shared my story. So it's it can be that simple. You know, you just need to um, share the sense of love and share your story and let people know and be sincere um, be enthusiastic and um, be passionate about what you love about Sensi and, and what it has done to you in your life and your family. So hopefully that, that, that that's helped you to some degree. Now, um, I want no, now, before you go on, there are some questions here that I'm going to get you to have a look at, Gladys. Okay. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb here, though, and uh, potentially get myself in trouble. So if you don't see any posts on Facebook from me, uh, it's because Glennis has killed me. Please call the police. <laughs> So I'm going to propose that we do another draw. Oh, okay. Because you ask people to um, have a guess at where the next incentive trip might be. Oh, okay. I, I haven't looked. I know that there are some on there. I haven't looked at them. I well, hang on. Let's, okay. Well, hang on. What we'll do is we'll we'll get rid of the PowerPoint um, so we can get back on the screen. Oops, that's not how you do it. Uh, let's go with that. There we go. Do that. We don't need that anymore. Yeah, and get back on the camera. We'll get back to the camera. Right, okay. Hi, guys. All right. Oops, let me get back here. Can you see us? Can you see anybody? Can you see us? Yes, great. Okay. So on this piece of paper here, uh, I've written a destination and Glennis hasn't seen it. You're not supposed to be watching this. You're supposed to be having a look at these questions because you've got some questions to ask. Okay, okay, so okay, okay. Let me go back to here and get some of these questions up. Okay. Uh, well, no, you don't need to answer them now. So what I want you to do is I've got a, a place written on here. I haven't looked at what those you've already put on there. Uh, have some guesses and whoever gets it right is going to get something. And I guess what I'm putting on the spot for is what are they going to get? Oh, just send out another thing of the new catalogue. Okay, well, we'll do the same the thing again. Another stack of new catalogues. Give us some destinations. Um, now, this isn't the destination because we do not know what the no, destination that's, yeah, is. You, yeah, very true. This is just my guess. I have no idea. I just picked a random country. Um, so uh, this is just, have a go at that. This, so This is just guessing Mark's guess, yes. basically. It's not the actual thing because we don't we, know. We don't have any idea. Okay, so uh, I'm 200 PRV off sensational start if i achieve this uh will i get the four and a half thousand points so um off so, sensational yes. start according to that it says um so, so assuming you're talking about sensational start level two then you would earn the four and a half thousand points you should do yep uh Tonya, how do SSDs earn the trip? Good luck with that, Tonya. Oh, work, no, you can't say that. <laughs> work hard, my dear, work hard. Lots of sales, lots of recruitment. Tonya, you, um, you are so good at what you do, so I have full confidence in you that you will do lots of selling and that you will do heaps of recruiting okay. and, and training your girls and helping them reach the, the, the sensational start and everything. So you'll be able to do it that way. Okay, we've had a, had a request to put back up the essential and certified on the screen so they can be screenshots, so we'll do that at the end. Okay. Uh, 
I've been okay. planting okay. seeds for a few months now about becoming a consultant with at least five people. And even though these people are very interested and love the opportunity, just don't seem to want to take the plunge and becoming a consultant. What's some tips to help getting people over the line? That's a great question. Okay. Um, okay, Kim, my, my advice to you would be to um, find out uh, from each of them how sense you can affect their lives and work on that angle. Like, you know, if, if, so if they're struggling with money, you can then, you know, someone, one of them might be struggling with money, you can show them how, you know, you know, selling, you know, becoming a consultant can help them in that regard. You've got to find out, and it's all about them, you've got to make it about them and you've got to find out what it is. And, in fact, I would, I, I would probably just go and ask them what it is that's stopping them from becoming a consultant. And then that will that will give you the answer that you need to be able to um to answer or to help them with. I could come back and yeah. so, so yeah. if it could be so if someone says, look, you know, um, I, I I'm not a salesperson. Well, they don't have to be a salesperson. You don't need to be a salesperson to sell Sensi because the product sells itself. So you know, if just I would completely go and ask each five of those people and ask them why they don't want to join or what's stopping them from joining and what would it take for them to join, you know, and then work with them one-on-one, -on -one, you know, and see where you go. And most of all, share your story and how Sensi has changed your life. That, that's the key, I think, is to, to, to share that story, help them know how it's benefited you, find out what their concern is so you can overcome it. You can't overcome a concern that you don't know. So I, I guess you need to ask them. Glenn makes a good point. Ask them. What it is that's stopping them and what would it take for them? Um, Sometimes of, it's fear. More yeah. than anything, it can be fear. And if that's the case, then you, you, you talk to them about the teams and how teams work and the, and the, and the support and strength that they'll get and encouragement from others. Maybe it's because they're afraid to, to talk to people. Then you could go with them to their first launch party or, or to any number of parties and help them with them. So. You can overcome the concerns if you know what they are. If you don't know what they are, that's also hard. And, Kim, not only that, once you've talked to them and you've found out what their concerns are, come back to us and we'll try and see what we can, I can help you with them because, you know, like sometimes fear is a big thing with people, fear of talking in front of people, um, you know, fear of failing, fear of being successful, all kinds of things. So, you know, like so just talk to them and after you've done that, come back to us and um, and I'll have a look at it and see, you know, if I can give you some advice of what you can do from there. And don't hesitate to discuss it with your director as well. Uh, oh, you, don't have to come, you don't have to come straight back to us, but oh, you can if you want to. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. What else? Yeah, that's fine. That's covered. Tanya's going to uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of – Here's another question. If I managed to earn it. I oh, want Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. Good one, Tanya. Okay, so, oh. Um, uh, no, what uh, I would love to, I'd love it to be. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've got a bunch of, <laughs> Tanya. Tanya, will you stop? Oh, good <laughs> grief. What are you doing, woman? <laughs> That's called yeah. spam. No, that's okay, cool. That's, that's really cool, Tanya. Well, perhaps I should um, have a look at all these. I have a look at all these nominations for country. So I've got my guess here. And remember, this is this is not the real deal. This is just you having a guess at what I've got on my bit of paper. So we've got, uh, where are we? Paris, London, Malaysia, uh, Paris, France, Fiji, none of them yet, Bali, nice one, Tonya. Uh, Disneyland in Paris, Bahamas, Italy, Malaysia, Japan, Thailand, Paris, Disneyland, London, London, New, New York, York, Paris, France, uh, oh, I guess in your guess, Fiji, America, Fiji, Mexico, uh, Paris, Paris, Nobody yet. So what you need? Spain, Tibet, <laughs> Brazil, Namibia, Sweden, Japan, Japan New Zealand, um, New York, try, Australia. Try, <laughs> try some countries maybe that are closer to Australia. Thailand, Thailand, Scotland. Scotland. So nobody's got it yet. So we're going to go back to some questions while you're still asking that or doing those. I've created a monster. Uh, I'm going to try and find the questions amongst all of this now. <laughs> Uh, it's good though. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, if we signed up before August, we can still achieve it. 
Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, if you've signed up before August, yes, all of the personal stuff, the uh, the sales you can still do, the personal uh, uh, promotions you can still do, the earning the personal achievements, all of that you can still do. So that's fine. Uh, like, for example. Oh, I don't oh. to say. Yeah. Okay, Jessica, board housewife to meet new people. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. Okay. Um, what's this? 10 points. I'm meaning sorry, I'm getting worse. I'm getting also feedback from Jess on this call. <laughs> that's cool. Is the free kit worth the gamble that I've seen other consultants offer as a trial taste of Sensi? Um, what, free, what free kit are you talking about? Well, she can't ask you, but um, not exactly sure what you mean there. The free kit. No, but they, you see, in America they actually had a $49 kit and 59 kit. In Canada that's finished now. That was in July. But I don't know about any free kit. So you'll have to let me know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, so we got some more guesses. Australia, we've seen those, Thai, Scotland, Cambodia, Singapore, Bora Bora, New Zealand. Hint. <laughs> okay. Okay, for a hint. Singapore, well, they're Indonesia. No, no, the one I've written on a bit of paper is an Asian country as a hint. Vanuatu, Singapore, Philippines, Vanuatu. Uh, who what we gonna get? If I join Sensi start ends in September, does it count? If I join oh, if I joined Sensational Start ends in September, does it count? Yes. Yes, it does. Uh, India, Papua New Guinea, Thailand, Africa, <laughs> Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon, Solomon Islands, Islands, Taiwan, Taiwan Bali, Bali, Maldives. But come on, people. This is taking forever. <laughs> None of those are right. North Korea, South Korea, Philippines, Singapore, Singapore Hong, Hong Kong, Kong China. China. Somebody's got to get it sooner or later. Oh, I know what it is. Uh, okay. Tonya, you're a stalker. You're going Japan, to have to. Malaysia, Spa. Okay, it starts with V for victory. Vietnam, there we go. Cynthia Simpson. Cynthia Simpson, there okay. you go. That was that was my guess. And that's only because nobody else would guess it because <coughs> I don't want to go there. <laughs> anyway, who got that? Cynthia Simpson. Okay, Cynthia, we'll go on to our workstation and we'll get in contact with you. So thanks for that. Thanks for having some fun. That was really cool. So we'll have to do it again next time. So um, are there any more questions, ladies and gents? I was going to say, don't gonna forget say, the needles there. Yeah, Neil, sorry about that. I so, keep talking to her about that, Neil. She keeps saying ladies all the time. So, Neil, do you have a question? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Yeah, she well, goes, I've got to get into it. Okay, must be. Uh, but it's, it was Vietnam and it's been one. So, all right, we're just about up to our hour. Uh, we don't have anything else that we wanted to cover other than just to say thank you for all that you're doing. You guys are nuts this month. Like I posted this morning, we've so far, as of this morning, 37 new recruits in our group this month already and we're only on to day four so you're doing an outstanding effort um, and we're really happy uh, with everything you're doing so we're just, we're just loving this this is yeah, fantastic for us. we have the best group in Australia so and we're really proud of you so um, yeah we're just we're just so happy and we just want you to know and we're loving doing these webinars even though we're really kind of you know we're novices at this um, but I know we'll get better as we go along um, but we just love having the connection with with people in our group. It's just lovely, which we didn't have before. So, you know, we're just encouraged those on your team to join us on our webinars because, you know, it's a time where we can kind of chat and get to know each other and have some fun. So well, that's, that's a bit of a lie, isn't it? And we're the only ones chatting. Um, <laughs> Jessica, just by the way, uh, Cynthia Simpson got onto that Vietnam before you. Sorry, Bella. So, but anyhow, um, so look, is there, do you have any other questions? Um, any other questions besides, you know, even nothing that we've talked about tonight? Um, you know, like maybe something else, you know, that, um, you know, about any other problem that you're having with with um, with your Sensi so that we can answer. We've still got about five or six minutes. So if you want to just ask us any particular question that can be random, doesn't matter. Um, no, it's that's, looking like everybody's happy. That's what we're here Sorry, for. Sorry, Jessica. But we are uh, we are really looking forward to Sydney. Um, How many of you are going on the on the on that's on the webinar? Uh, who's going? Oh, is it worth keeping our old sense? Do you know what you can? Who who said that? Tonya. Tonya, what you know what you can do with your old sense is um, putting this um, 
giving us the, the actual um, sample away and just using, you can use your little things to put, um, you know, the ones, are you talking about the mini tester ones? So you can mini testers, all the big ones, you can use them to put samples in. All right. Oh, yeah, Jess has said to me, yeah. So, um, so you, or you can melt them and use them yourself. Let's go back again. Which one? Where am I going? So is there anybody that's not going or is is? Uh, yeah, there's a whole pile of people going, which is great. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Me. So Kim's going, Kim Grace, Neil's going. Um, I hope you're taking Min with you, Neil, because that would be awkward. Uh, <laughs> Barbara, fantastic. Coming to see it. We're coming to Sydney. Hope you're all going to be there. Christy Hedges, you come and see us. Yeah, we're going to be going there. Uh, so. Neil, yeah, good. And uh, wish you were coming, Kim. We'll have to meet you at some other time. Yeah. Uh, super. So we be rushed. Which is this? It's dark. Oh, I haven't tried that one. The, okay, uh, Teresa, what is it? The, the free kit, sorry, was kicked off. Is just consultants offering to hand their kits over for a trial to see if Sensi works for them. Do you feel this is or isn't a good? Well, oh, there, I wouldn't be handing over my kit. No. I but, mean, a borrow bag would be the better way to but go. If, yeah, you could just do yourself up a borrow bag with just the bare minimum things for them to have a try just for the weekend with a warmer and some scents and let them have a, a, a go over the weekend. Or Certainly not your kit, not your kit. And something else that you can do is if you wanted to, if they wanted just to see how um, how much interest they get, you could maybe give them some mini testers um, in a, you know, in like a borrow bag situation and just get them to show their friends to see if they can get orders or whatever. Cause sometimes that is the reason why they don't want to do it. They might not have many friends or they don't know if they're going to be able to get the people to come to parties. So, um, yeah, so that's just another idea. Yeah. And, uh, as a couple of other people pointed out, uh, you know, a basket party as well, you could give them and get them to go get some sales as well. And at the same time, they're getting to use the stuff and, and, uh, so that, that great ideas. Yeah, Jess and Tamara, sorry that you're not going, honey. So I wish we could actually meet up with you, but I'm sure we'll get to meet you. Um, but just stay in touch, hey. And so maybe what we'll do is, I don't know if um, we can do it this in, when we're in Sydney, um, but it would be lovely if we could all get together and we should try and see if we can catch up when well, we're in Sydney. Well, there's a few gatherings anyway that we might just – have to gate crash. Yeah, I mean, Christy McPherson's having one, and I know that Tanya's having one. Um, and um, so, yeah, we can just try. If people can let us know what they're doing when they get there and see if we can somehow catch up with people. So um, at right. least come up and look out for us and, and introduce us if um, when we're in Sydney, okay? Um, oh, yeah, Jess, I've met you. Um, I've asked you people to have a party, but they are, are saying they can't get people to come. What should I do? Um, okay. People are saying, just wait, uh, that they're coming. Um, maybe just spread, like, you know, ask and I always suggest to people to ask their neighbours and um, and just, you know, so if they get two or three people to come, get them to bring a friend. You know, that's another way of doubling your numbers as well. Like I had a party once for two with two people and I sold $500 worth of stuff because the host had a couple of outside orders and some other orders came in after the party. So, um, and yet she's had parties where there's been 13 people and sold $200 worth of stuff. Oh, no, that was a, that was a disaster, that party. <laughs> So, but anyhow, so yeah, just you just have to spread your um, your friendship or the, the people that you know out. Just you know, widen your circle. Are all the meetings? Are the meetings all? Yeah, well, we can't do that. I wish I could come to you. Sorry, I've got to run my. Okay, no worries. See, thanks for coming, Nicole. Appreciate it. No. Separate my, my launch had my Munich family and two friends, but that's good, Jess. You know, like, um, well, see, so, yeah, now who's um. Barbara, you had a party. I had a party that had 17 people and I sold $226 and it was the only time ever that I thought, oh, this should be a good party and, and you know, it taught me a valuable lesson. So what I do now is I don't care if I sell $100 or $1,000 worth and that's the attitude I have when I go to the party and I never pre empt anything. Like I never think, oh, well, there's 10 people so I'm going to sell heaps. Mm -hmm. I just go and just do my party and and because I think if you have any expectation, you put pressure on yourself your host and your guests. So it's better that you don't have any expectation. Um, okay, Jess did awesome. I'm sure you did, Jess. Do you know that other ones have doozy? Oh, of course. I mean, I'm a star director and I've had some doozy parties. <laughs> so, you know, like you don't have to be, it doesn't matter what your title is, we're all consultants, you know. I had a party on the weekend, no one turned up until an hour later, then made $700. 
and people were invited. That is fantastic. That's really good, Tanya. I set myself a goal of minimum of $300 in sales. Um, I just find that if you set yourself a target, it's, it, it, you set yourself up to fail because you, you might reach it but you might not. So if you don't have any expectation and you go there, I mean, it, it's... You go, you do your best. You... And, and it all depends on what you do with your coaching with your host. So if you do all the coaching with your host, you go there expecting to have a great party but not expecting a particular amount of sales because I think if you do that time and time again, you know, you'll get disappointed. So so just, you know, do your host, concentrate your efforts on that rather than trying to guess how much you might sell. And so it will just come naturally. All right, well, our time's up. The hour has come and gone. Really appreciate you being here and hopefully some of the things we've done and said is helping in some way. Thanks, guys. We really, really love and appreciate you all and, pl and know that we're, we're here at any time if you ever need us, okay? Take, wow. take care. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye.